No, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Well, apparently I'm making a unicorn night like terrarium with my life. Who would have thought it? A couple of years ago, I wouldn't have thought it, but here we are. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now if you're a regular here, it'll be common knowledge that I can't seem to keep plants alive. Whenever they come up in whatever video that I'm making, they always end up dying. So far, I've lost two plants out of my terrariums. The two plants and the tile planters are looking pretty dead as well. And then this thing here, although it looks alive, it's kind of like floppy and weird. It's kind of like gooey. And I don't think a plant is supposed to be gooey. So I'm having a lot of trouble. I am, I'm not gonna lie. So instead, I'm gonna be making my own unicorn nightlight terrarium. And although, I question what I'm doing. I'm also happy because I don't think I can kill this one. Actually, I wouldn't put it past us. It's still a possibility. So this is it here and it's unicorn terrarium kit for kids, girls or boys. Science kits, STEM gifts with nightlight, DIY, craft, educational garden, discovery art for ages. 4 to 12. Wordy. It's a wordy title. And apparently it's unavailable. You can't buy this one. It is that popular. I feel so important that I managed to get one. So it says that unicorns are great girls toys or boys toys age 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and up. And I am quite happy that they've marketed this as either girls or boys. Usually when you think of unicorns they're like oh just for girls but no they're inclusive and I appreciate that. That automatically wins you a point. This creative learning craft activity set lets your child be their own mini explorer with easy step-by-step -step build instructions. Grow their own garden while enjoying the night lights for kids that glow as they sleep. For kids that glow as they sleep. What? Oh, I'm just reading here, it has seeds and soil, so I thought this was fake. I didn't think I was actually growing anything, but apparently I am. That's concerning. So there is uh, definitely an opportunity for me to kill something. I thought it was all like plastic. Yeah, so it's got wheat grass and chia seeds that magically grow. Hopefully they are robust. Oh, it does, it says robust plants to learn the art of gardening. Oh, good. It's got things that are really important to me. It's got robust plants, so I shouldn't be able to kill them. And instantly gratifying. I like that. I don't like waiting around for things. I'm a very impatient person. So this is already getting me very excited. It says that it's got 24-7 customer service. I think that's bullshit. I bet it doesn't have 24-7 customer service. I'm not... Shall I try it? I might ring their customer service later on in this video. See if it is actually 24-7. Put it to the test. Okay, so we have some pictures here. And it looks very sweet. It looks very cute. Incredibly cutesy. It's a little nightlight. That's good, because I'm scared of the dark. That's everything you get in it. And I think this was actually... I think I paid about 20 odd quid for this. In fact, let me check. So I spent exactly 20 pound. I thought it was around about 20 pound. Okay, it's got relatively decent reviews. Overall, it's got four out of five and 55% out of 45 customers gave it five stars. So that's pretty decent. J&J said it's great for all ages. Always a mum said not too messy, loads of fun, great project for kids and a fun nightlight. Rachel Ward said it's adorable. Kayla said it's fun for all. Oh, Casey didn't like it. Casey gave it one star. She said nothing grew. Quarantine birthday girl devastated. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I like to laugh at things, but it's quite sad if it's a child. I got this for my daughter who would be celebrating her fifth birthday in quarantine. We decided that introducing her to gardening would be a great springtime gift for someone stuck at home. And what better gateway to gardening than unicorns? Yeah, it's true. We did every single thing instructed on the packages without fail, day after day, and not a single thing sprouted, grew, or did anything the whole kit was designed to do. Extremely disappointed, I really liked what this company promised with these gardening kits. Unfortunately, none of the promises were fulfilled. Don't bother with this line of products. Ah, oh, that is a shame. Maybe she just have to wait a bit longer though. How long did she wait? Day after day. It doesn't tell me how many days though. Sometimes it does take a while, but also I'm pretty sure the seeds can die, so that could have happened, which is sad because she spending her birthday in quarantine and wanting this little thing to grow and it just hasn't. What I would have done is I'd have just gone into the garden, picked some grass and put it in there and been like, surprise, it grew. I'd be an awful parent. She's only five, she wouldn't know. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm very excited to see what this is like and just live out my unicorn terrarium nightlight fantasy. It's, it's what I've wanted my entire life. Right, let's open this up and see what it's like. It does have a website actually, the uptownfarmerkids.com. Let's have a look. Okay, so the website works. Oh, they have different ones. 
Ah, I didn't realise this. So they have a dinosaur night light, a superfood garden kit. They said they had customer support 24-7, but they don't actually have a contact number. It's just a little form online. So I wouldn't really say that's 24-7 customer service, but... If there's a number in here, I'm going to give it a ring. Anyway, let's open this up, see what it's like. Okay, so that must be the jar there. I don't know what this stuff is, but the bag's popped. So there's bits of it everywhere. I think it's just like... This is just fake stones and stuff, I don't know. It just looks like polystyrene, if I'm honest. Some white rocks. I say rocks. It's like rocks. They're almost not hard. They feel like paper. It's very strange. Some wheat grass and a little card here. No, it doesn't have a phone number on. You've ruined my plan. Oh, and I can join the club. I'm, I'm not going to join the club. Oh, it just says, Ask an adult to take your nightlight lid and attach the included micro USB charger cable to the light and then the other end to the wall charger. Wait two to three hours until fully charged. I'm going to quickly charge that then. Start charging that before I get into the rest of it because otherwise it won't work. And it's not a waste of packaging either, by the way. It's pretty decent, I'm surprised. Some mushrooms, a little squirty bottle, some purple sand, your little charger and your lights. Ah, oh, it already lights up. I don't need to charge it. Ooh, it flashes too. Ooh, it slow flashes. Okay, so you do get quite a lot of stuff in here. The jar's plastic, if anyone wanted to know. It's not a glass jar. Although you do get a lot of stuff in, and it seems quite well curated. I'm talking about this as if it's serious. The only problem I have is everything feels cheap. It feels really, really, just really cheap. That's the only way I can describe it. Let's take this off the unicorn. We don't want it suffocating. I have to say the little like unicorn and the little mushrooms and stuff, they're very cute. And a little rainbow as well. All right, so the first step was to charge the lights, which I don't need to because they're already charged. And then it says, pour half the brown soil into the bottom of the jar and spread evenly around the bottom. So I assume this is the brown soil. Did it really say soil? It said soil. That's not soil. 100% not soil. Yeah, this is definitely more of like a... Let's have a feel. I don't know, it feels like papery. It's strange. So I pour a little bit of this in. See, you can even hear it doesn't make a sound. Because it's just so light. Fill your water sprayer bottle and spray a little on the soil. Unless this is soil and it's like really dehydrated soil or something. It could, it could be, I might be wrong. I'm not a soil expert. It just says spray a little bit, it doesn't tell me how many. See, this is the problem, I need to know how much is a little bit because I overwater things. Okay, I think that'll do. So it says pour the pink sand over the brown soil, spread evenly, but not tip in the jar so the layers stay even. Spray a little water. I wouldn't say this is pink either, it's purple, but it's definitely purple. Just saying. Okay, your colours right, please. And then more water. So now I have to pour the white rocks. Rocks. Unless they're dehydrated rocks. I don't think that's possible, but you never know. So pour them in and spray a little water again. It's almost like dust. It's all sticking to the sides because there's water everywhere. Should maybe dry it off. Place a little more soil, not all of it, over the white rocks and then sprinkle the chia seed and white grass seeds evenly. So these are the wheat grass seeds. I was expecting them to be like super tiny, but they're actually quite chunky. And the chia seeds. I think these chia seeds are the ones that are tiny, aren't they? Can you eat wheat grass and chia? What does chia seed grow? Believe it or not, chia seeds grow into chia plants. <sighs> Such an ass. Oh, you can, you can eat the seeds as well. It's grown food. Who knew this was gonna be a cooking video? Yeah, these are very, very small. I'm just sprinkle them in. Finish by spreading the remaining brown soil over the seeds so they are fully covered and then spray a little water. Okie doke. Hopefully that's not too much. Decorate the top layer of soil with your figurines, positioning them close to the side of the jar, facing outwards. This way they will not be covered and disappear once your plants begin to grow. I'm just gonna have to dry the outside of mine because it's gone really wet, so I'll go get some paper towel. 
That's the problem with the stuff in here, because everything's so light, as soon as you spray the water on, it just flicks it all up. Because the soil is definitely not soil, and the rocks are definitely not rocks. There we go, looking much better. And how did they decorate theirs? Oh, see, they were clever. They put their wheat grass in the back and their cheer at the front. I just shoved mine everywhere. Didn't think of that, did I? But that's okay. It's facing this way, so it'll, that'll be the front bit, but oh, that is adorable. It's so nice. I want the plants to grow. I want it to be instant. Right, what's next? Decorate the top layer of soil with the blah, 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 done that. Attach your night light lid once fully charged securely onto the jar and then turn your light on and off as you need it. Okay, so on here you've got this little thing that holds the packet in. <sighs> uh, there we go. They're a bit stingy with the lights though. You don't get many in there. I wouldn't really call this a night light, I don't think. I'm gonna take it downstairs and see what it actually looks like lit up. Okay, so it looks like that. That is very, very adorable. The only thing I'm worried about is because it's not cram packed. And say that was a night light on your kid's side table or something, and they knocked it over during the night. You are absolutely f You cannot rescue it. It'll be destroyed. So that's that's a little bit concerning. But anyway, we're gonna nip downstairs and see what this looks like in darkness. And as you can see, it actually does work pretty well. And I'll just show you up. It's, it's not too bad, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Although this room is absolutely pitch black. There's not a single bit of light coming through. So if you did have a little bit of light, I I just don't know whether it would be that strong, but on camera it looks pretty awesome. And especially the little shapes that come up. And I will say when I brought it downstairs, the unicorn and the little rainbow thing, I knocked that over completely. I had to rearrange it and sort it out for this bit, but that's not bad, you know. I'm not mad at it. So I was pleasantly surprised about how well it worked. And I started this off like taking the piss and stuff, but it's, you know, it's winning us over. And it does say on here that I have to leave it on the windowsill or a warm spot to get some sunlight and water it every day. And it should take three to seven days to see my seeds sprout and grow into my wonderful garden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna wait three to seven days because I've got loads of other fantastic videos to record. So I don't have time for this. But what I will do is I'm gonna post some pictures on Instagram and I'll even post them on Twitter as well so you can see whether they actually grew or not. So make sure to go follow us, you know? You don't have to because neither of my accounts are private. You could easily just go have a look a couple of days after this video, but you could also follow us and that would be very nice. So taking that into account, I think I'll give this little kit, I'm gonna give it three and a half unicorn terrariums out of five, because I do think it's quite a little creative, fun, cute little thing. The only issues I'm having with it is it does feel very cheap. And also when I clean the inside of it with that paper towel, it's left big scuff marks all over it. So I think it would have been nicer to have a glass jar instead of a plastic one, if I'm really critiquing it. And also, if the plants don't grow, which I won't know until seven days, then my star rating will go to a complete one star. In fact, it'll go to a zero star because that's the whole point. And I think it'll look really nice once it's all grown. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on this little kit down below in the comments. I know it's not a particularly serious video this week. Are any of my videos particularly serious? But I do know that I have some subscribers out there that actually have children. So let me know if you are one of them, whether your child would like this or if they're like older now, when they were younger, would they like this? Because I've got one of my, would you call them a step niece? I think you would call it a step niece. I'm not sure, I don't really like kids. <sighs> but apparently she really wants this. So as soon as it's growing, she's like, one, two, three. I don't know, she can't talk yet. Can she talk yet? She can kind of walk that age. But anyway, she wants this. So once it's fully grown or whether it doesn't grow, she's gonna have it. So it's, it's already got that appeal. Kids must want this and be drawn to it. Probably it's because it's colorful and I can, I can relate. I can 100% relate. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then subscribe for more wonderful content. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.